All right, so in this last example, I'm just going to provide a brief introduction to ArcGIS's vector tile style editor tool. Um, so you can get to this tool through the ArcGIS for Developers web page. And again, I think you have to have a valid ArcGIS Online account to, to access it. So um, what this allows you to do is to take Esri base maps and manipulate their styles using uh, vector tiles. So uh, vector tiles, again, are basically just pictures of the data, but it maintains some information about colors and fonts so that you can actually edit the symbology. So it's pretty similar to the concept of a vector graphics file, like something you would edit like in Adobe Illustrator, for example. OK, so to start, I'm going to go to Get Started. And then you can select a base map to begin to start editing from. Um, uh, there's lots of options here. Um, some are obviously more complex than others. These are things that I've already produced that are stored in my ArcGIS Online content. So let's see. Again, it's not really. Let's use this World Street Map Night. Okay, so that loads the image, or the, or sorry, the ba the the original map, as a, and then we can hit Select Style, and now we can go into this window and start editing this style. So uh, first off, it gives you symbol or shows you symbology at different scales. So uh, we have like kind of a global scale kind of subcontinental scale, city scale, and then like a local scale. And that's so that you can see the symbologies at, at different scales. Um, so you can get into a lot of detail with this. For example, you can go into individual layers and edit their symbology. You can also edit their, for example, I'm just going to go to I know, parking. And then you could actually go in here and edit the symbol for parking with a hex code or change the color, change visibility scales for certain things. Underwater, this is another example, um, the uh, colors for water and land. So for example, I'm just going to change these colors. So I'm going to change land to like a, a gray. And I'm going to change the water to a lighter blue. Generally, if you don't want to get into a lot of detail, you can just go to this quick edit, and that allows you to edit some broad stroke stuff. So, um, for example, we could change the roads to like, like a red collar. Um, boundaries, maybe, maybe like a white. Buildings, maybe we'll make that like a gray. You can see, again, it's updating down here. Nature, maybe like a, we'll make it a lighter green color. Um, color labels, you can change that. Um, you can change the, the font. So for example, here, I'm just going to pick a different font. This is not a great font, probably. I'm just messing around with it. Yeah, that's okay. We'll use that. Um, you can change the relative size of things. So we're just bumping the font up a bit. You can make the roads bigger if you want. Um, yeah, and then again, if you want, you can get into individual layers and mess around with their symbology and their scales and whatnot. You can create color palettes and whatnot. So. Again, we're not getting into this in great detail. I just wanted to show you that this exists. And then, uh, oh, actually, why is the land not changing? Maybe it's a skill. There we go. I don't know why that didn't change before. So let's say I like this. Again, it's not great, but it's just some editing. So if I want to actually save that object, then I just go to Save As. And by default, it's going to save into your ArcGIS Online content. Um, so that's shared with, I'm just going to have it just be for me for now. And then you give it a new name and then do save style.
So again, there's a lot more you could do with it. I'm just trying to give you like a broad overview here. All right, so once that saves, again, that one generally takes a while. Um, I'll just show you how you can access those. So if you're an ARC Pro and you're logged in, you should be able to go to your add data and then underneath of my content, that should list all of your stuff that's on ArcGIS Online. Um, so for example, I think that might be that map. I'm not sure. That looks like it. So that comes in. I could also do add data. Oh, there should be an option to add it as a base map. I guess I'm not seeing that. I thought there was in there. Let me see. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm not sure. So anyway, that that came in. I'm basically streaming that layer in. Again, I could also stream in layers from my Arc uh, Online account in general. So like we've been working on those point layers. I could go in here and bring in those points that I um, have been editing into, and it comes in with my symbology and everything. Um, if you want to access the base map in ArcGIS Online, it's actually pretty similar. So let's go to ArcGIS Online. I'm going to go into this uh, Monforce map object that we've been working with. Open a map viewer. And then I want to go to add, add from f add layer. There's that new uh, base map that I created. I'm going to click add. And then if I go back to that layer, there should be an option to use it as set as move to base map. There we go. So now it's treating it as a base map layer as opposed to like an operational layer. So anyway, if you make your own vector tile graphics by editing the ArcGIS, um, uh, the ArcGIS online uh, base maps, then you can use those both in Arc Pro and in Arc Online to just build some like nice custom base maps. Again, I did this pretty quick. If you were really wanting to create some good base maps, you need to spend some time with it to you know really make it work. But that's just a brief introduction.